Thursday Theater, friends. Good to have you with me. Today I'm with Greg Aitkins, Financial Management Network. Greg, good to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Well, as you know, friends, I get a chance to speak with an influencer every Thursday on our time together. And Greg, uh, I'm interested in knowing what's happening in that financial world of yours where you're bringing some good influence that's bringing some joy to your life. So what's happening? Well, you know, I'm a certified financial planner and I'm in a firm um, kind of surrounded by these folks we call millennials. The young ones. The young ones. They're people who are about half my age. You know, Got I, it. I find myself in, in the firm now. I'm, I'm the old guy. Yes, you look, <laughs> you look, no, excuse me. Go ahead, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm uh, concerned about how we boomers communicate with these younger people. So I get to work in this kind of learning lab here in my office okay. with all these young people. So mm -hmm. we, we work together to serve clients. And um, so I, I'm finding myself as a sort of uh, old school boomer, you know, with my old habits and my old ways. Um, and yet? And, and yet I'm uh, learning to kind of meet them where they are yeah. and kind of get on their wavelength. And, um, so in some of the communications, I'm actually texting them. Oh, you know? exciting, <laughs> exciting, Greg, way to go. <laughs> but, you know, there's sort of a uh, mutual relationship being built. Because uh -huh. I'm the old guy, I've been doing this for more than 30 years. And, and so, you know, I've got some experience and stories, war stories, or what we call around here, Gregisms and mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. But um, I'm actually not able to do my job properly without them Yes. because they are great technicians and they have a good work ethic and so we work well together and so that's been great fun. Well, Greg, one of the exciting things that happens in uh, OC influencers is they not only have influence at work as boomers, they have influence uh, in their personal life. So tell me, what's something exciting you in your personal life that's a give back? Well, um, you know, one of those things I've wanted to do when I grew up, if I ever did, was to become a writer. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not actually quite sure what form that will take, but over the years, uh, through Christians and Commerce, I've gotten a chance to share and write reflections, mostly, and, and that sort of thing. And uh, we have a, lot, a number of different forums where amateur writers like myself can contribute I see. For, the, for the common good through our newsletter and then something that we call ePrayer Connect where this is an email message that comes out to business people daily Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of resolved to become a regular contributor mm, to good, that. Good, good. And um, so I feel like the Lord has really poured out a lot to me over the years and I feel like I'd like to at least share some of those things from my own life. In particular, I'm around people a lot who suffer from unforgiveness, mm. from <laughs> resentments and bitterness, big, big deal, and and that sort of thing. And and uh, I feel like I've been largely freed of that mm -hmm. because of my relationship with God. And I'd like to help others um, get free, yeah. you know, get yeah. uh, out of prison, as I call it. And so I'm actually thinking about starting a blog called In the Healing Room to help others with that. So the journey of your writing is really a give back to be of encouragement to people who've had those hard, difficult places. I mean, friends, isn't that all of us at some degree? Yeah. We all have, when we hold on to our hardness, wow. Yeah. Greg, so good to hear that you're being of help. Thursday Theater is an opportunity to talk with great people, people who have influence in their professional and their personal life. And I know it's good to have you and you're listening to hear that voice in your own heart being that influencer. Have a great week, friends. Greg, thanks for being with us. Thank See you. you next week on Thursday Theater.